Yes, very. And you can expect, we, we don't tend to give, um, Bailey, we don't tend to give your, compl uh, your uh, uh, complex cases where you have mixed uh, situations. But we do expect you to be able to follow the guidelines and name and identify respiratory or metabolic acidosis, respiratory or metabolic alkalosis. The other things that we talked about earlier, you also need to be attentive to. When you have someone with an abnormal pH or lab values, the body's going to try and compensate. If I don't have enough hydrogen ions, my body goes through a process. We talked about that. The respiratory system is going to decrease, straighten up the respirations to hold on to acid, if I'm too alkalotic. It's going to have Kuzmoff's respirations deep and rapid if I have too many acids. And then we have that compensatory mechanism with kidneys that happens in, and the film said it initiates in 24 hours, but you don't have the full effect for multiple days. We teach it takes several days to get that going, where if I have too many hydrogen ions, out goes the hydrogen ions, but the potassium starts increasing. That's why you see a hyperkalemia associated with an acidosis. Uh, and if I don't have enough hydrogen ions, then it holds on to my hydrogen ion, and but the compensation is the out goes the potassium, so I have a hypokalemia associated with um, my alkalosis. Questions about these things? So, like, neither one of them um, would, like, increase or decrease your output. It's not about urinary output. What is it about? Hydrogen ions. I'm saving or excreting. In compensation for getting out of balance, having too much or too little hydrogen ions. It's not about urinary output. That's about fluid excesses and deficits. This is about the constituents, hydrogen ion, really present or diminished to give me my reserves that I need to compensate for the imbalance. We get out of balance, our body starts acting. That's what, when you run, that heavy breathing is the Kuzmol's breathing to blow off your hydrogen ions to get you back into balance. Right? Now what if you have a lung disease? Do you see where we now have complexity? Exactly. We have kidney disease. We now have difficulties because you can't get back into balance. Starts making it more complex. Now I have lung and kidney disease. I'm in trouble. Right. Uh, questions that you have. Expect this to be testable content. Expect to see items on the test. Expect to see items on the test where you have a person and you see uh, that they have a certain pH and what's the body going to do? Okay. We want you to know how the body's going to compensate for that. We want you to know about conditions that can put a person into these kind of situations. So we'll go ahead and take a stop. And then Jen will be back at 12 noon and she'll do lecture content. This is kind of the down dirt.